What's up guys? So today what we're gonna be doing is replacing some gaskets on the quad. Let's get into it. Here's the gasket kit I bought. I got a Tusk high performance gasket kit. It comes with all the top end gaskets that I need. What I've noticed so far since I've replaced the top end on this 400EX is the gaskets that I bought were really cheap. I bought a really cheap whole gasket kit for the entire motor and I noticed that it's pretty cheap stuff. So why I'm replacing the gaskets is I'm getting a leak in between the valve cover and the cylinder head here. Maybe this is just the, the head. I don't remember what it's called. Valve cover, head, cylinder. I'm leaking oil up here so I need to replace this gasket and I'm also leaking oil in between here, the cylinder and the head. We need to replace those too. So let's get right to it. First step into doing any of this, I'm gonna have to take all the plastics off. Gonna take everything I have to off the air box. Oh, what else is underneath? There's a bunch of stuff I have to take off. So all my previous videos, I've shown you guys how to take that off. But for right now, it's time lapse time. Okay, so actually, first step I'm gonna do, I've already, you can see I've already taken some of the plastics off. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing, let it warm up, because it's pretty cold out right now. It was 24 out this morning. It's supposed to get to 50 today. I'm gonna let it warm up. That way, the motor can get pretty decently warm and I can drain all the oil out. I'm gonna drain the oil once the motor's warm. I'm also, you know, have to replace all the oil and stuff because I'm taking apart the whole top. I'm doing this mainly because I need an oil change and second because I don't want to run any old oil with the new gaskets and stuff. This stuff is black, black, black. Okay, so the oil is drained out. Now to continue the tearing down part. Go ahead and take all the plastics off, the gas tank off, the air box off, the exhaust off. Then we'll have access to the top here. All right, so if you can see all the oil coming out of here, it's because that gasket's not good. It's been leaking since I've put these back on here. There's oil up here too leaking. Now that everything's off, the next step is to take this motor mount bolt out and then start taking all these bolts out so that you can access the valve and then the seal, or the gasket, I mean. Okay, now that all the bolts are off, you can go ahead and remove the valve cover. Oh god, look at that oil, dude. See, that is not supposed to that's do that. Sludge. That's oil. No, dude, that, 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 that's bad. There we go. She's fucking mint. Okay, once you get your cam out, and every all the little pit push pin and spring and your bearings off your cam and the what are those things called dowels your metal dowels out uh, i don't think that one comes out it may or may not but it didn't come out with a magnet you're gonna go ahead and loosen these now the bolts holding the head on head on apply directly to your forehead okay guys so the worst that can happen happened well not the absolute worst but this washer that sits uh, right here fell down this hole and into the motor. I did not plan on taking apart, what is this called, the cylinder? I did not plan on taking the cylinder off. The washer fell right down there along this timing chain guide. 
I don't know, that was the most stressful thing ever. Uh, me and Trent got a magnet and some extensions and some careful maneuvering and finally got it taken care of. But here's the top of my piston. And you see all this dirt and grime and stuff. That's from because the gasket leaked. So we're probably about to put the gasket back on. And well, we'll see what happens from here. Okay, so I got this new gasket in. I kind of didn't record any of that because... Like I've said many times before, I'm terrible at recording stuff. Um, each of these four bolts or nuts that go on this are 33 foot-pounds. I went ahead and did that. Now we're about to put everything's back together on the top. We're about to put the new gasket on. I got some stuff. I timed it. I got some stuff over here that a guy told me to get. Uh, Permatex copper spray gasket, and I've sprayed the top part, and I'm going to flip it over and spray that part. And then add that gasket to it. He said it's supposed to help seals and stuff. But we found some issues. And I want you guys to let me know if this is bad. This part of my cam right here moves. Like wiggles back and forth. And I probably should get a new cam. We're gonna send it. But we're going to send it. Because I don't think that's supposed to do that. So let me know in the comments below if that's supposed to do that. Slick truck right there. We'll blame me not recording on this guy. Burning out in my driveway. Well, everything's back on. Well, gasket wise and all the head and stuff. But other than putting all the plastics back on and a couple small bolts and stuff, that should be it. I'll let you guys know, I'm done for today. I'm gonna go ahead and be done because it's pretty cold out. The temperature dropped like 10 15 degrees as soon as that sun went away and it's continuing to drop so i am gonna call it quits for today <laughs> that's it guys so if you like this kind of stuff please comment subscribe whatever all the stuff you're supposed to do you know what it is i may put a video in here of it all back together and running but hopefully i shouldn't i need to pressure wash it all but thanks guys for watching peace